Hi everyone, today we have a new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about Freshities from Arma Hobby. It literally arrived to me a few hours ago and it will be interesting to see what we have here. Well, <laughs> it is obvious by looking at the box art that we have the 148 scale version of the Hurricane. As you can see this time it's a Mark II C tropical version. And of course we have the plastic kit with decals and also masks here. And the kit number is 40005. So uh, this plastic set or the plastic kit itself is I would say relatively new so it's a new tool release from Polish manufacturer and that's why it was interesting to check it closer and as you can see we have really beautiful box art uh, in terms of this part of the packaging Arma Hobby is really great I like all of their box arts and it's really a shame that they don't do the t-shirts or the posters with those images nevertheless this box is uh, exactly the same size as what we had in the previous 148 scale hurricane so here is comparison with my hand and then on the side here you'll find also some information about this kit on the opposite side we have some information about the manufacturer some safety advices while on the rear side you can see three marking options which are included here uh, of course i hope that there will be more but who knows maybe only three are included into the package so this is the side opening box i can see that this side probably will be easier to open but no it's exactly the same because we have this uh, cardboard box inside and as you can see you just pull it outside and it's basically a cardboard tray which makes the box a bit more rigid and therefore protects all the parts so we have the uh, parts packed into one plastic bag it's a resealable plastic bag so it should be quite easy and quick to open and that's what we are going to do right now so just give me a moment I can see one molding pin broken off, but that's nothing serious because it's just a molding pin. Okay, so what do we have here is the uh, plastic sprue with the wing parts. And as you remember in the previous review, oh, we said that the overall details which you get on this kit are quite amazing so this kit definitely has all the chances to be the best in its scale so here you can see the wing parts and we have a lot of external features i will show it in a second but first of all i have to note that uh, we have the pre-molded wing mechanization it means ailerons and flaps stay in place unless you get some aftermarket and i think edward will be producing something for this purpose so if you would like to have dropped flaps you will have to buy an aftermarket P there is no other way to fix it so here you can see the external features we have recess panel lines also rise rivets as far as you can see which is quite unusual I know that some others are not huge fans of such solution but well it looks decent and as long as you carefully assemble everything together you should be fine and here is the other side by the way and if you flip it over here we have also quite interesting uh, thing because we have a lot of guiding elements, those guiding tabs and also the special circular, uh, let's say, points or pins which also provide an extra rigidity to the overall construction of the wing. And wingspan is quite large even for 148 scale, so here you can see comparison with my hand, so that's why uh, it is necessary to have this uh, strengthening elements included onto the parts. Next we continue with the zip lock bag which is dedicated to clear elements, so I will take it out in a second. Just give me one moment to remove it out of the plastic bag. So here it is. And as you can see we have quite nice molding quality, so again I will zoom in so that you can see all those parts closer. We have separate uh, middle canopy section, so it means you can open the canopy and this is a really useful feature on a 148 scale aircraft kit. And of course the uh, masks, I mentioned that they will be included here, so it's also a good thing for such um, canopy styling because as you can see the framing is a bit tricky if you would be cutting the stickers by yourself. Now I place the second grey plastic sprue, so we zoom out a bit. Here we already have mix of the parts, because for example here in the middle you can see the cockpit walls, that's the instrument panel, rear bulkhead, that's the rudder, this is the bottom fuselage panel, here we have the tail wing. So basically all 
uh, some of the external internal elements and as you can see their quality and the um, I would say attention to the small details which you have pre-molded is really great so in case you are not a fan of adding some aftermarket to your kit here you should be fine because well manufacturer provides you with a lot of stuff out of the box and what is I would say asked from you is to carefully paint and weather all of this stuff and of course carefully assemble but as you can see we have the guiding elements in all necessary places so it won't be a difficult task in my opinion and then we have the third and the last gray plastic sprue so here we have the fuselage house and both are molded without tail fin, but note that they're molded with this cooling uh, cover. I'm not sure why manufacturers pick such design of the fuselage, because uh, we get it also in some Spitfire kits, and obviously such design is a bit more tricky to assemble with a smooth uh, cover on the top. And it's quite visible area, so that's why I usually say that it's always better to have it as a single piece part, which is molded separately, especially with the modern molding technologies. But overall, again we have a really nice attention to the external features so as you can see uh, this external surfaces look quite impressive and let's not forget again that this is a 148 scale if you flip it over uh, there are not that many cockpit features as you remember we have the cockpit walls or cockpit frames molded separately they will be inserted here and there and then it will be uh, the final result of course nobody stops you from getting some aftermarket PE which will improve the appearance even more but uh, here it is not included into the standard package what is included and that's actually also good is the masks uh, pre-cut mask sheet so as you can see we have masks for the canopy and also for the landing gear wheels which is really cool because it will give you the really nice paint work without any additional time spent so definitely a useful thing and then we continue with the decals so for the decals i can see that they're printed by tech mod so i will place them like that maybe we'll close the lenses a bit so here we have all of the necessary symbols it's worth to note that here we have the instrument panel and seat belts so some of the cockpit elements are covered with help of decals and again if you're not fan of spending extra money on aftermarket that should be enough in my opinion especially with a closed canopy and printing quality looks fine of course some others can try to replicate the roundels with the masks but this uh, task will be a bit more tricky so uh, definitely consider it but also don't overestimate your own skills because you can end up with a uh, really tricky paintwork so here we have the assembly manual this one is printed as a large cover printed brochure we have short history note also parts map here and they do not show which parts are unused maybe all parts are used basically so here we start with the uh, first suggestion so you have to decide whether you would like to have the auxiliary tanks or the bombs under wing next we continue with the main wheel wells as you can see they are assembled out of several parts and there are also some of the minor features dependent on the marking option you choose so definitely pay attention to this stuff and here on the second page we start working on the cockpit then we install the main wheel wells on the wing part and here we install the cockpit walls onto the wing yes it's quite an interesting design but uh, well a lot of uh, hurricane kits are actually made this way so i guess some experienced modelers will not be surprised with this and next we continue with more features being installed into the cockpit area on the fuselage house as well as this for example instrument panel and then we also have some minor modifications in case you would like to have the canopy in the closed position next here we have the air intake under the fuselage as you can see it is glued out of several parts maybe it's worth the idea to weather a bit this radiator grill as well uh, we have also the tail landing gear main landing gear for the main landing gear i would recommend to get some resin wheels because they will definitely improve the appearance and it will be a noticeable upgrade in this scale then we have position lights and here we have also the cannons being installed for marking option two you will have to use 
Uh, some different parts as far as you can see. I guess these outer barrels will be just uh, um, placed as empty. And then we continue with the propeller. And here we have the canopy type choice, the auxiliary tanks and bombs underwing. And here we have first two marking options. We also have the QR code for more information about these markings, which is also cool. And here's the third marking option. So three marking options in total. But of course, nobody stops you from getting some aftermarket decals and replicating something completely different from what is included here. But overall, I think those markings are quite nice. And I think it is fine for 148 scale kit. So this set should be already available. And in my opinion, it's a good choice for modellers who would like to have their own Hurricane in 148 scale and you can get it directly on Arma Hobby website. Of course, I'll be happy to hear your opinion as usual, write it here in the comment section below. And of course, as usual, do not forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel because it will help us greatly. And of course, you will support us this way. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. So thank you for joining me today and bye.